The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. By the way, he's saying he's not hearing me. This is something wrong. Whoa, whoa, what's going on? I am speaking. I, let me hold on just a minute. I am, I am speaking. Oh, okay. Sorry, guys. Had a little bit of a problem there. Anyway, uh, first of all, I'd like to tell you that I'm going to be uh, moving on to be a professional baseball player. I've already contacted the Yankees for a tryout this spring. Uh, they just signed someone for $320 million. So I think the money's there. So I think I'm going to take a shot at it. I will mention this. When uh, the great player Ty Cobb was uh, 79 years old, and he was one of the greatest hitters of all time. They asked him, what do you think you would be hitting if you were playing baseball these days? And Ty Cobb said, oh, probably about 270. And the, the announcer, the reporter said to him, 270? He said, you were batting 340, 350 all the time. He said, well, 270 is not bad for a guy 79 years old. Anyway, I just I, – I, when, when Alex Rodriguez signed for a quarter of a billion – uh, 10 years ago or more, I was shocked, and now 330 million folks, they lost control of that game. Give me a break. Wow. I, uh, hard to believe. You know, I, I, my my idol was, one of my idols was, of course, Mickey, uh, Mickey Mantle, and also I met both of those guys, and also uh, uh, Willie Mays, and uh, the most they ever made was 125000 yeah, oh, I know tickets. I, I know tickets. I, I remember <laughs> they're a little high. Anyway, I, I have to tell you a baseball story from here in Tucson. My good friend Jimmy Elder comes out every year to spend a few days with me. And we have a deli that we go to. And one day we were sitting there, and it was about uh, it was about 11:30. We were having lunch, and in uh, I was, my back was to the door, so I didn't see anybody come in. And and and, and uh, Jimmy lost speech. He said, ah, 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 ah. and he he pointed. So I turned around and looked, and there was Stan Musial and Whitey Ford. Stan Musial lived here uh, in Tucson during the winter because he loved to play golf so much. And his good friend was Whitey Ford, which was strange because they played in different leagues. But anyway. Uh, we went up and I asked his wife who was sitting there. I knew where they were from in Pennsylvania. They were high school sweethearts. And I said, is, is that number six? He said, yes. And so I went over and I uh, said hello to him and he gave us an autograph picture and everything. And we, they sat down and had lunch with us. It was just absolutely, you know, unbelievable. Yep. Ty Cobb stole the home plate 54 times with cleats up. The boy played for, for blood, not for money. All right, let's move on. The first chart we're going to look at here is the uh, chart of the German DAX. As you can see, we're in a little bit of a downtrend here, not too much going on. Remember, folks, today is Fed Day. That's going to be around 2 p.m. They're going to give their usual, uh, we're in a good place, as he always says. <laughs> and we'll see how see how that works out. But anyway, we'll be watching this as uh, to see this. Uh, David White has posted a really great quote here from Jack Schwager, the author of Market Wizards. There is no single market secret to discover. No single correct way to trade the markets. Those seeking the one true answer to the markets haven't even gotten as far as asking the right questions, let alone getting the right answer. That's absolutely correct. It's all about risk control, folks. You can trade anything you want, moving averages, whatever you want. But if you understand risk control, you're 99% there. And the reason why is the only thing you can control in the risk-reward equation is the risk. You don't know what's going to happen next, do you? Absolutely not. And you don't know if you're going to be profitable or not. That's all. That's true, too. So the only thing you can do is control your risk. So do that. Let's, speaking of that, let's get on and take a look here at a couple of things that are going on in the markets right now. I wanted to bring 
a, a couple things to your attention here. Let's just take a look here. I wanted to show you um, yesterday, uh, we, we had a pattern here. Let's just give you this, plat this pattern here so we can take a look at it. Uh, this was something that one of our uh, listeners was uh, working on. You'll notice that we had a uh, three drive pattern. You can see up there at the 926, and you see that market came down to 916. It dropped 10 handles, roughly $500, and then, of course, it had a rally. But let's walk through that. You see, because if he's selling up there, let, well, let's move on to the next one so we can we can walk through the pattern itself. And, you know, this is what I do. So <laughs> whether you like it or not, I don't know. Okay, let's get this back up here so we can take a look at it. Here's what's happened since that time. You had the three drive pattern, as you can see there. Well, the profit objective on a three drive pattern is 1.27 or 1.618 of the lowest leg, which comes in at 918. That's where you measure your first lowest leg from. That gives you the three drive, and there's your first profit objective there at 916. And you can see what's happened now. You know, Platinum's got all the way up to that 928 level, a 1.27 expansion. So that's that's not unusual, but this is a shorter-term pattern. If you're trading shorter-term patterns, your risk is going to be different. Your analysis is going to be different, but the patterns are going to be pretty much the same. Now, if we go back and we look at platinum where it is right now, and we, this is one of the ones we've been focusing on for quite some time, our objective on the platinum is up around the 940 level. That's the 78% level. Well, we were at 928, so we're only, we're only 10 handles away, so that's easily get to that point. But remember, in the newsletter, we pointed that the fact that Platinum was acting so bullish it had the potential to be very, very bullish. And that's exactly what happened because it did hold last week's lows. And that was right at a 61% retracement at 8.88. As a matter of fact, I believe uh, Ruby was in there uh, banging the baseball bat on home plate around that uh, 8. Uh, 90 level, as I recall. So those are just some of the things when you're setting up a, a trade, you got to find out, you know, because we'll see that, you know, you're right. Uh, patterns we repeat over and over because they're just, that's just human nature. Now we've had a uh, question about the, the VIX index. And I'm going to bring this up here. And uh, the question was, has the VIX ever got to 300? Well, boys and girls, uh, I believe the highest it ever got here was up around uh, 90, uh, right around 90. That was in the crash of uh, 2007. I don't think uh, we were any higher than that. Uh, uh, well, you know, we could have. I don't know. I don't know what the monthly looks like because back in uh, 2000 with the dot-com bubble, we certainly could have. So I only went back uh, 14 years. I probably should have went back more. Uh, I can't do it now, but I will double check it uh, a little later to see if that's right. The key here is that the largest one-day move we ever had was back in February of 2016. Uh, I believe that's the day when uh, uh, Trump decided to run for president, and they thought the end of the world was going to happen. And uh, so that's it. The second part of this question was uh, why, because the volatility would protect you against uh, some, you know, really bad things, why don't most people do it? Well, there's a simple reason. Uh, okay, they, oh, there, David's got the answer. Thank you, David. Hey, we'll, we'll cover this fix in just a minute. David White has just given us the answer. Mr. Cyclopedia himself. We'll be right back, folks. If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all the TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, by the way, folks, at the second break, uh, we're going to have uh, Bill Chapman on. He, he does work in the S&P 500, and he's going to talk to us about how he determines highs and lows and the timing of it. So that'll be interesting to listen to Bill. Okay, now let's just get back to that VIX index. David has told us that the high on the VIX index was October 24th, 2008, when it hit 89.53. But... On October the 6th, 2014, it has been recalculated. I have been saying for many years here, anytime you get below 10 in that VIX, it's probably a very, very low-risk insurance policy. We haven't been anywhere close to 10 in the past year or so. 12 has been near the low. So uh, it, it appears that you know somebody is taking some protection. Even with the stocks up today, the VIX is also up. So some people are taking protection uh, in the volatility. Index. Folks, we will get we will get a bear market someday. How long it, it might last as long as a half a day? I don't know, but we will get a bear market because it's just normal. What goes up must come down. The secret for high prices is high prices, and the secret for low prices is low prices. From the words of W. D. Gant, don't be afraid of high prices. They're there for a reason, and don't be afraid of low prices. They're also there for a reason. Now, let's move on to one other thing that we want to talk about, and that is the natural gas. Let me just give you an indication here. We've been watching this natural gas uh, because of the importance of that 220 level. You notice on Sunday night, we opened uh, below 220. We went all the way down to 16 on a fast tick, and then immediately went back to 220. What they what happens there, folks? It's a very thin market on Sunday night, and if there were stops there, guess where they got filled? Somewhere between 217 and 216, and boom, away it went to the upside. You'll notice what's happened over the last three trading days is what we've done is we've made a 382 retracement of that high we made just the other day when December the 3rd and that was exactly 382 at 229.50 now if we get above that 230 level that tells us that this is possibly a pretty good bottom 
in the natural gas. But until that happens, it doesn't appear that it's going to be that big of a deal. Okay, now here's a couple of things that someone else has asked me about today. First of all, uh, we want to talk about the coffee, because let's just bring this up from Mr. Z, was kind enough to send this to me uh, last night, because uh, he has been very, very bullish coffee, as well as uh, Ruby and some other people in the room. You'll notice here that the coffee has gotten up. I'll, I'm going to post my chart because I can read it a little bit differently, and we'll, we'll take a look at this together. Don't trade coffee, but uh, do, I do want to bring this to your attention because we talked about it last week. If you remember, when we were talking last week, we said there was a pit, potential double top there at the 128 level because that's what we made way back in October. But look what happened that day. Boom, we went through there you know, really quickly. And look where we are now. We're trading up around 137 now, which is a 1.27 expansion of the October high to the May low. So to say that coffee is a, a little bit uh, overbought is an understatement of the year. But to pick a top up in here, I think you'd have to uh, use some other a formula like go down to a 15-minute chart because right now it's in a really running market and it could be weather related too. So that's another reason why you want to respect that. Uh, you don't want to get into weather markets because they, they really go a lot farther than people uh, think they can go. The next one we want to talk about are our little piggies. They're starting to show a little bit of sign of life. And I know Ruby would like to, they're way past 1.618. Oh, no, it's at 127. Yes, Marshall, it's most probably, if you wanted to do the, well, I, I don't want to get the target on coffee because I'm not interested in it. But if you wanted that target, take the high from October down to the low in May, you know, do that subtraction. And you, Marshall, why don't you do that for us and give us a little bit of a little bit of a time break and we could uh, talk about it. But you take that high in October, the low in May, multiply that times 1.618 and bada bing, bada boom, there's your uh, target at 1.618. It'll be up around 160, I believe, just eyeballing it, uh, just roughly. Okay, let's take a look here at the little piggies. Uh, these are April hogs. We've come down and we've tested the 78% uh, level three times now, folks, at 72, and now we're above that. So, you know, you, you can't ask for any better numbers, folks. We said that 72 was going to be a pretty strong number, and it certainly is. As long as you don't go below 72, these things have a chance to rally. But below 72, it's going to be different. Now, we had a really quiet rally there when we got up to 75. Then we came right back down to 72 again. But now we're starting to come back. We've tested it three times. That third test should be enough. But whether it is or not, we don't know. But nobody else does either. The only thing you can know is how much you're going to risk on this. And that's the key to to why you're watching these things. So that's another reason for being in the Tiger Den. They talk about these things all the time, and they talk about the price levels and where to buy and where to sell, and there's some really smart folks in that Tiger Den. So pay attention if you want to get in and uh, get some really good information You know, during the, uh, the trading uh, hours. Okay, the next one I want to talk about is the... Uh, I did the DAX, so I have to do uh, the oil because oil is very, very critical. Here's the, uh, the spot uh, crude oil. You'll notice here that we are, uh, we've went up, we've completed a double ABCD patterns. Uh, we hit the exact 0 0.707, which is the reciprocal of the square root of two. The difference between 618 and 707, folks, is pretty much insignificant for trading purposes. I mean, it's only like 40 or 50 pips, but when it hits it exact, you got to pay attention to it because there's an ABCD there perfectly. And, you know, ABCD is a very, very powerful pattern. And as Einstein said, uh, before God was numbers, and you want to remember ratios come before geometry or mathematics comes before geometry. So anyway, this is what we're looking at. We're up now. We're up, uh, well, about six days in a row now. So we do for a correction in the crude oil. Any move above $60 a barrel could take it a whole lot higher. And by the way, the Aramco deal was oversubscribed, worth now $1.18 trillion, making it the most valuable stock. And it is um, 
I believe it's going to. I heard. I heard the statistics on this. It's going to be some ridiculous amount of value uh, on a long-term basis. But, uh, but who knows? I I don't know. I'm not involved in it. I'm just listening to what they said on Bloomberg, as far as what it's uh, what it's going to be uh, looking at. Uh, we've covered the platinum. Here's one that is very very important. We had a beautiful pattern the other day, folks, that we talked about here on the air. This was in the British pound. I just wanted to show you what's happened. There's the British pound. We had a perfect number up there. Hit it to the exact tick, folks. Believe it or not, at the 1.618 expansion, 132.15. We dropped all the way down to 130.10, and this is what we were looking for as we went to that 382, and we were expecting a little bit of a pullback at that level right there. And so what we did last night was to watch it unfold. And as you can see here, as we go to the next chart, it was doing that uh, Okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay, there you go. And that's what you got going on here. And uh, with that, and then, of course, we continued to follow it through. And, uh, you know, what we're looking at now is the uh, British pound has had a nice little ABCD uh, moving at that point. So that's what we're looking at. So we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
All right, folks, we're back, and uh, we will have uh, Dr. David Paul tomorrow, I believe. Uh, he has a meeting, but it's uh, going to work out okay. We'll have him in early in the morning at 9 o'clock, and we'll be able to uh, chat with him uh, about this. Now, the next uh, chart that I wanted to go through, again, all the British pound. We've had a request about the Bitcoin. I wanted to get this up here to let you take a look at the Bitcoin here. You'll see here, yes, we do have a full moon coming in, folks. And uh, there's where we go. You'll, you'll see the Bitcoin is looking very, very poor. Look at this. We have uh, back on the, um, the 25th of uh, November, we have a little bit of a rally. You see, that's not even a 382 off of the high from October, folks. This, is, this Bitcoin is going lower. How much lower, I don't know. Remember, it started at almost nothing. Figure 100 bucks. From 100 bucks, it went to uh, almost 20,000, and here we are at 72,000. And as you can see, just doing the, the simple ABCD math on this, it's going to take us down to about 5,800 right now. Uh, it's certainly more expensive than toast, Marshall, that's for sure. It's still, you know, pretty expensive item. I'm sure you folks know that there's hundreds of these uh, cryptocurrencies out there, but as John Jameson has spoken to me many, many times, it's not about the cryptocurrencies, it's about the blockchain technology and that's what is going to be the difference especially when 5g comes up and I know exactly the same amount of information on 5g as I do on cryptocurrencies and blockchains and you can write that on the head of a pin in bold-faced type it's cheaper than baseball Marshall but that's about all you can say I just still it's shocked at 330 million dollars I uh, Wow, I just, uh, I just can't. I, I can't. Can you imagine what somebody like Ted Williams and Mickey Mantle and some of these guys would be making now? Give me a break. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on to the uh, next uh, qu uh, chart that we wanted to cover. Uh, I did that one. Oh, I, here's the one I want to be watching. This is someone, a very, very astute trader that we have that trades a lot of palladium, folks. Let's get this up here. I have never traded palladium, but I just wanted to bring it to your attention because we are at a very, very critical level here today. Now, this is a weekly chart, so we've been up to five weeks now, folks, and I want you to look at the uh, that number there, 1.618. Okay, that's the 1.618 expansion. Now, that will come in at 1885. Now, the reason why 1885, 1886 is important technically is because the largest city in the western southern western part of the United States was Tombstone, Arizona. It was bigger than Los Angeles. And October of 86 was the gunfight at the OK Corral, where the Clintons messed with the old uh, Earp brothers. Anyway, if you ever get over there, you'll really enjoy it. That uh, It's a fantastic little old ghost town. It's not a ghost town. There's about 11,000 people there, but it's pretty much the same as it was back in 1886. So Palladium could be making a top up in here. Whether it's a big top or not, I don't know, but you're up five weeks, and it's going to be very, very low risk at that time because if you get it up to 1886 at the 1.618, the most you have to risk on this would probably be five bucks, which is $250. The problem with, and hey, this is not a recommendation. <laughs> Judge is ruling. This is just me talking, killing time, actually, because someone asked me about palladium. The problem with it, the bid and ask on that stuff is really pretty tough. Okay, there's the uh, there's the uh, ticker signal for Saudi Arabia Refineries Company, Asarco. Uh, that reminds me of uh, Aramco when it came out with old Arm and Hammer way back when crude oil was two bucks a barrel, back when Hector was a pup. That was back in the 60s. Folks, I once spent... Uh, in 1964, in August of 1964, I was in El Paso, Texas during a gas war, and I paid nine cents a gallon to fill up my car. I was driving a, a, a 1961 a Porsche Roadster, and uh, it took, uh, I think, eight gallons. So I filled up for 90, under 90 cents, and I couldn't, you know, that's never been the same, of course. But anyway, that's either here or there. Okay, let's move on, and uh, we've got a, got a guest coming here in about three minutes, so we want to be ready for him. If you have any questions, 
and I don't think you do today. Um, our good friend Al over at TFNN is telling me the, the tote board is lit up. There's just no open lines at all. But if you tried to sneak one in, you might be able to get one in because Al is a magician at this. So it's 877-927-6648 if you wanted to check in. I wanted to also bring – oh, we might have a caller, do we? Uh, a line. Oh, Al said a line just opened up. So hurry, folks. It might still be uh, might still be available by the time you dial the O number. Let's take a look here at the FTSE, folks, because it's in a really tight trading range here. Wow, this is a daily chart. Let's just look at this because this is a. Uh, telling us it's a great deal. Remember, we have an election today is uh, the last campaigning day, and the election day is tomorrow, of course, on the full moon. So that'll be interesting. The full moon here in the desert, folks, is absolutely spectacular. Spectacular. You notice this pattern here on the FTSE. We just went down and tested the 61% retracement. And my good friend Alan over in the UK sent this to me. And you can see it could go either way from here. So if it breaks down, we're looking at 67.50. Breaks to the upside, we're looking at 75.50. It'll probably be related to the, uh, uh, the election. That's what I'm not sure. But remember that British pound completed a major pattern up there at that 132. And if we go back, uh, bouncing above 132 now, folks, in that British pound, you're going to be looking at uh, uh, probably 135. And remember, the British pound, when Brexit was uh, brought out in 07, excuse me, in 2017, on August the uh, God, what about June 7th, June 27th, it was trading at almost exactly 150 because we were shorting it there, and then it went all the way down to below 111, and now we're coming back. We could get to that 137 very, very easily in some emotional uh, thing if the uh, there's a big upset, you know, if the liberals come in and uh, oh, upset, but there's, the odds of that happening are 40 to 1. The, ob the odds of Brexit happening uh, at that time was 19 to 1. In other words, they didn't think they would ever leave the U.K., and uh, now it uh, those, those odds uh, certainly changed around. So those are just a few of the things that we're watching here this morning. And I needed to bring one other thing to, to your attention, and that is the El Capur. Here it is right here. Uh, this is a nice one we had from Mr. Z, who's been extremely bullish on copper uh, ever since it was down at that 260 and change level. You'll notice that it stayed there uh, almost the whole month of November uh, till the end of uh, uh, end of November, early December, right on December 2nd is when it had the really strong day. And then the next day was the really strong day where you had a 10-point move and we've continued to go higher. We're very close to the 1.618 retracement. I don't know if we've at the 61% retracement at uh, 280. I don't know if we've reached it yet, but uh, I did this chart last night, so I assume – uh, with platinum being up and things like that, maybe the copper has been, palladium being up, maybe the other metals have got up, and we might have reached 280 in the copper. So if someone's kind enough to let me know whether we hit that 280 in the copper, I would certainly like to know that. Uh, we'll see if that's not going to be the case. No one's going to help me here. We're going to take a little break, and we're going to have Bill Chapman on next, folks. We'll see what this young man's going to have for us. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. 
If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Directions Daily S&P 500 Bull and Bear Leveraged ETFs. Direction Leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay, folks, we have a new guest today, Bill Chapman of Trend Reaction. Run ahead of the pack. Well, Bill, you're going to be in the pack today because we got a bunch of ruthless traders out here that only like to hear great information. So I've posted your uh, first chart about uh, the big yarn or why you don't trade in advance of the, of the Fed. So do you want to explain to the folks who you are and what you offer and show us what you're looking at today? And then uh, if they have an interest, you can tell them how they can reach you. So tell us a little bit about Bill Chapman. Well, Larry, I bring to the table 35 years of professional trading management experience. And I've worked on the various floors from Fidelity Investments, the Boston Company. I've worked at Lehman Brothers, the High Net Worth Desk at Merrill Lynch, amongst others. Uh, one of the things I did back, back in the 90s was myself and a handful of traders, along with a number of computer programmers, we built at that time the world's fourth largest online trading platform, which was eventually acquired by E-Trade. Now, my focus over the past few years, Larry, has been the influence of program trading, because program trading, as you know, comprises 80% of the volume on any given day, even greater than 80% of the volume on any given day during the week. So I've got this unique approach of analyzing markets where I'm not so concerned with price, but I'm more interested with program execution and its influence on the markets. And believe me, Larry, it's a pleasure to be on your show. Well, so far, you're doing a pretty good job. Keep it up. <laughs> oh, geez. Uh, what I should do, and you, you've got the display there for the – why yeah, I don't I trade. The, yes, I have the September 18th chart up, and then I also have the chart for uh, your program of what you're looking at for the uh, for what the market to do as a pattern for today. So you just explain to us what you're looking at, and then if we have people call in, they, they'll answer que ask questions or they'll email you with your email address. So just go ahead, because this is new to me. You're going to have to start from scratch, my friend. So please uh, take your time. So I have the big yawn up there, which is normally in a, you, you never trade in advance of a, of a Fed announcement, basically because the market simply moves sideways waiting on the news. But the dynamic there is such that the, the houses, the hedge funds, they're positioning themselves throughout the day to take advantage 
of the announcement. So they're either getting net long, net short, depending upon which way the market, you know, depending upon the announcement and the way they want to pull the market. Okay. The when you're looking at the markets in, in place and how they play out, I put up the big yawn today because that's a pattern that more than likely from my sniffer programs, that's what they were sniffing out. It appears it's going to be one of these days where it goes sideways and then you may get a, a downdraft only to have the market rebound right back and end up where it started. That's what you're showing on your 12 11 uh, pattern, the pattern for today, in other words, to be down and then up again. Right. Okay. So you can see the way I've broken down the AM call is that initially what you have is I usually started out with my commentary. And my commentary is such that it could be anything. And I like to keep it market related. I will do economics. Uh, Fed watch, see which way the money's flowing. Mm -hmm. uh, political, fashion, lifestyles, media, technical analysis tips, and trading tips and techniques. But along with that, I put up what my sniffer program brings out as the, as the profile. Now, the profile, the lower part under the commentary, it's a roadmap for the day's trading activity. Much like the weatherman uses a weather map, I'm using a chart to give you an idea of where or what the market should do for the day. Now, you've seen my past reports, and you know how close I come. Re That's why you're on the show today. I've seen some pretty startling ones, so keep going. Right. So what do you have here is essentially like a roadmap. You look at a roadmap, you're going to... It's telling you where the twists and curves are, but it's not telling you exactly where the potholes are, where the traffic congestion is, where the construction projects are on them. That's something that you have to find as you go along on your trip. But what we have is a graphic representation of what the day should look like. It's not perfect. And sometimes it needs to be looked at upside down or even backwards. Mm -hmm. We just come out with a, with a basic profile here. And below the profile is a line I use, which is basically the, a flight plan. It has the date, the color green. Anyone who's familiar with my vocabulary mm -hmm. is, which gives an overall appearance to today's market. It'll have day three greater or either greater or less than the moving average, which is your, your stochastic, your over, overbought and oversold indicator. A full moon's an interesting one because full moons, new moons, and quarter moons, as you know, have a direct influence on the market in terms of volatility. And we are one day out of a full moon. The Gemini, the Gemini is, a, is a profile. I use astrological profiles depending on, upon what phase the moon is in. And the Gemini is a two-sided market, a two-faced market. So you may find yourself all of a sudden going down in the morning and then rebounding right back up in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. And quite naturally, the tides. The tides, unbeknownst to a lot of people, is the oldest technical indicator going. And that was used even back during, uh, well, when they initially started trading under the buttonwood tree, you had to know when the tides were because in lower Manhattan down on water and wall, well, if the tides were up, your shoes were getting wet. <laughs> <laughs> it, was really, it was really, it would flood down there at the time. They made lower Manhattan at the time look like, look like Amsterdam. They put a bunch of canals in and those canals at the hot. High tide, and especially a moon tide, would flood lower Manhattan. Below that, I have execution levels. That's the program trading levels, the arbitrageurs, uh -huh. the premium levels. They're the yeah, thresholds where, where the arbitrageurs execute their trades 
and virtually take control of the market. So you're looking at all those different indices, and how often do you uh, post this each each uh, day? It just in the morning, or do you update it, or? I post this during the day, and then when I see particular, if something really catches my attention, I'll okay. blast out an email to all my clients, and okay. tell them what's going on in the marketplace. Below the exec the execution levels, I have the economic calendar. And that's to keep you from okay. getting blindsided. Hey, Bill, we have to pay a few bills. Stay with us for about uh, three or four minutes, and then you have another couple of minutes to tell the folks how they can reach you and uh, maybe let them kick the tires. So we have Bill Chapman on, Trend Reaction. We'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with Bill Chapman of Trend Reaction. Bill, we've only got about two minutes left to the end of the show, so could you tell the folks uh, how what your service entails and how they could get to you if they'd like to uh, kick the tires? Okay. I just want to bring up one important point, and that's the, the, the pay attention times that I have on the chart. Okay. The pay attention times are indicators. They're not pivot times, mm -hmm. the, but they're times within five minutes that you need to be sitting down and watching the market. If you could bring up the chart from December 5th, you get a very good picture of exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. But what my service entails is... 
a daily newsletter which is a roadmap to the day's trading activity delivered to your inbox in PDF format one hour before the market opens. I always tell my clients to print it out because much like the old S&P tear sheets, this is something you want to have in your hand and have easy access to throughout the trading day because you're going to want to glance at it. It's got the support and resistance levels. It's got the pay attention times. It's got the profile of what the market should look like during the day. And it really truly gives you a heads up to what to expect. And there should be absolutely no surprises okay. when you have okay, the AM call in your that hand. Email. And we need market. that email address, my friend, because we've That email address left. is trendreaction.com. That's All easy enough. Word. Listen. We are going to have you on again probably right after the first of the year, so I want to wish you a happy holiday. Thank, Thank you Thank you very for much. being our guest, Bill, and we will have you on again right after the first of the year. I can give you my promise because I've already had several questions and stuff that we'll answer when we have you back on again, okay? Great. That's Thanks for being on. That was com, and Got it. look forward to talking to you in the future. Happiest of holidays to you, Larry. You bet. Thank you. Thanks for having Trend me on Reaction. board. Com. We'll be right back, folks, tomorrow when we have our good friend, David Paul, 877-927-6648.